Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. This actor and stand-up comic hails from Chicago and still reeling from the success of his breakout role in the Oscar-winning film Get Out. He's ready to bring the fun and the funny in his new film, Uncle Drew. Let's take a look. This should be a technical foul or something. I'm going to kick you off this court like I kicked you out of my house. That's right. That's me, OK, everybody? Excuse me. I don't know who you are or what this is about, but could you please take it back to the stand so we can play some ball? Who are you? If you keep talking, you're going to find out. Oh, you about to find out, honey. I come from a long line of choir members, and we going to clap back. <laughs> No, it's Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish, Tiffany she's great. She is hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she did a great job at the MTV <laughs> uh, Mubi Awards last night. Yeah. And you as well, we want to jump right into that before we get into Uncle Drew and everything that you've been doing. You made a, a priority last night to yeah. represent black press, to only go to black press first. Why yeah. did you make that statement? Or why did you uh, decide to do that? Um, just listening to them and talking to them and then like kind of going to those carpets and you notice it, mm -hmm. but you don't notice it. And yeah. then you start talking to them and I'm like, you know, so this is weird. Why do? And then we, you know, the funny thing, we go to these bigger publications to be interviewed, and sometimes they don't even use your story. Right. right. Most uh -huh. of the time, the, the 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 black blogs and everything are the ones that actually put your stuff out there. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about this too one day, like just at home. I'm like, yeah, like the stuff I read was like Ebony Jet Essence growing up. Like, right. why would I not talk to them first? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the Hollywood Reporter. There's, there's no diss to any of that, but until they mix that up right, yes. then I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start at the end, and then I'm going to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually yeah. kind of fun walking yes. past everybody, stopping me, like, where's he going? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll be right back. I love the intention in that. Um, mm -hmm. I think that that's what we need to do as mm -hmm. artists. I, th I think that we need to um, make a statement on, and a stand on our own. And, and speaking of you, like, kind of going back into your roots, like, coming from Chicago, like, I've known you for many years, yeah. and you've always been, you know, hustling and, and, and very um, <clears throat> intentional and adamant about your gift and craft, which I've always admired. Yeah. Well, what's awesome is that you incorporate Chicago mm -hmm. um, into your set, no matter where you are in this world. Yeah. What, um, what is the premise for that? What, is, what motivates you to want to keep your roots in your set like that? Because everybody else do it. I, mm -hmm. I used to, like when you watch New York comics, I didn't know what a bodega was, but right. they would talk about it. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, other cities were always very comfortable talking about where they're from. And, yeah. we, and we just had to like, all right, cool. Well, you right. explain to me where you're from. I thought Chicago is so unique, and it was so funny when I first started. It was comedians telling me that I have to change my set. Mm. I couldn't say this. I couldn't do that because they won't get it around the country. Right. But then you go to like, dude, you go. It's hoods everywhere. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know what I mean? Like you look at somebody. Great example, like Tiffany. Like I remember doing the Ghetto Girl thing, and I'm like, well, that's Tiffany. Like right. <laughs> not right. to be like that, but like when I met her, like. Oh, this is you. Right, right, right. Even though you're from Cali, right. this is, this you're is the same, you it's the right. same thing. Exactly. You do the clapping so. in your bit real good in this hand. <laughs> right, right, right. But, it, but, it, <laughs> but it's real. This is everywhere. This is international. <laughs> right, 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 you go to Paris, right. you see somebody right, like right. that. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love your laugh. Uh, <laughs> but it is that. It's just, I, I'm, I think just Chicago is such a unique place. Mm. And it's easy to paint that picture. And mm. I'm, I was like, I'm actually happy that I, didn't change it at yeah, all. And I keep too. all that within whatever mm -hmm. I do. Right. Yes, me right. too. Definitely. Rel, I am so proud of you. We've come <laughs> a long way from Bay Area comedy competitions yeah. and uh, traveling all over the country just trying to get a hit. You know, right now, it's really important to be flexible and versatile. And you're a triple threat. You're an actor, you're a comedian, you're a writer, and all those things. How important is that to you to be versatile? No, it, it's important just because I want to make sure whatever I want to do. Like Issa Rae, right? Mm -hmm. When I think about Issa, she really became... A, I was really inspired by mm -hmm. Like, when, when I did Insecure, and I walked on set, and she had all these women working in production. Like, yes. it was a woman in grips. Right, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, right. I was like, oh, damn, this is all women. Right, right. It was like three dudes on set. We right. all sat next to each other like that. <laughs> Right. Right. <laughs> sit over here right, right. But I thought that was fascinating about just owning all those positions and stuff. Like that's why, like even with my show, it's very important that I write on it. I'm in a writer's room. It's very important. Like mm. 
with this producer hat on and being able to talk to the networking studio. Like, I'm proud of myself. And maybe someday I'll tell this story of how, you know, everything happened with Fox, but I'm proud of myself for really sticking to who I am yes. and not, like... They'll put you, it'll put you in this position where you, you almost have to make a decision what type of person you're going to be in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And I, yeah, but I was able to, I don't know, I'm, I was raised by a dope family, man. Right. So yes. I love being a strong black man. Yes. I, yeah, that's I actually right. enjoy that. Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Come on, now. Yeah. We're going to hear more about being a strong black man and everything that he is doing, including that new Fox show you talked about. When oh, we yeah. come back, more of a little rail on Sister Circle Live next. All right, this is Circle Live. We are still here, still yes. here, with the hilariously funny Lil Rail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of funny, this movie is off the chain. Yes, yes. I say it's so funny, I laugh from the top to the bottom. Even the, the clip was had us all dad like that. Right, right. <laughs> and my son, who plays AAU basketball, um, he cannot wait to see the film because yeah. you are in the movie with so many NBA legends. Yes. yes. Um, despite all of the amazing actors and actresses that you get to work with, what is it like working with these legends in this movie? I'm such a basketball fan. I remember meeting your husband, Kiwan, Uh-oh. Kiwan Garris, and being like floored by like, oh, this is your husband? I remember we Because I was like, I'm a huge fan. Yeah, like, I'm like, like, it was amazing in college. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, but like, it, it is, I'm such a basketball fan. It was surreal. It's like I felt like I paid them to do to this do movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It was so much fun to like to see in person, like Reggie Miller running off mm-hmm. a pick. Lisa Leslie, like my God, she said she ain't played since she retired. So they had real basketball play, and she had like six threes straight, right. wow. just yeah. on fire. You forget how legendary, right? All these dudes is right, man. right. Well, well, mm. Working with all of the great talents that you're working with yeah. in this this movie, um, who do you think has who's natural at acting? Kyrie was extremely, extremely good. Yeah. But who surprised me was Chris Webber. Oh, really? He was, awesome. he was yeah. hysterical. Yeah. He was really funny and he was good. He was improv. And it was fun because they asked me questions like, yo, was that good? I'm like, bro, yeah, it was. And I'm like annoyed by it. You know what I mean? Like, you can do my job, whatever you feel like it. <laughs> Brad, what would you say has been the craziest thing that happened on set of Uncle Drew? <laughs> um, Nate Robinson dunking on everybody. Hello, somebody. So they what? were they were set like they would set uh-huh. people up under the rim. You, like Chris Webber had a casual conversation with me about my career. Mm-hmm. I thought he really was asking me a question, mm-hmm. and then he just and then Nate Robinson dunked Came on out me. Of and he dunked on Shaq. He dunked on Shaq and it made the sports center. Nate is a little shorty, right? Yeah. No, he's five. He's nine. one of the most athletic dudes. Ridiculous. Yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah, wow. Well, bro, I want to go back to the series that you're having this upcoming fall that's coming on Fox. It's yeah. called Rail. Yeah. How important is it to show your life and the true essence of your life and also the essence of the black experience? Mm-hmm. The black experience. It's, 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 it's that and also, I'm from the west side of Chicago, so mm-hmm. I wanted to do something that represented what... <laughs> My theme song, and I ain't told nobody this yet, to be first to tell y'all this, Crucial Conflict, The Circle Song, oh, yeah. is, a, is the theme song of my show. So it's just like, <laughs> That's I just cool. wanted to bring Chicago. I got a stepping scene in, okay. in a pilot. I just wanted to bring Chicago on TV. And also, in, in this situation, we wanted to show, like, like I'm a long-distance dad, mm-hmm. and I wanted to show what that looks like. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times, like, I, I think some oh. of the young dads don't even know how, like, you can be a really dope dad. Like, we got FaceTime at the least. If you want to see your kids. Right, you can see you your kids. You actually see your yeah. kids. Right. Now, in this new series, you have um, my good girlfriend, my little sister, Jess Hilarious. Yeah. Um, she's a social media star yeah. and also a stand-up, stand-up comedian. Did you have, was there any question when she came in the room like, you know what? Well, it was, it was tough to get both her and, and Jordan L. Jones, who played my little brother, at the same time in the beginning of it. Because they, like, they're green and they didn't want two new people, whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. Yeah. But... Just had the best audition I've ever seen. Wow. Is dope. wow. I'm serious. Like, uh, the best self tape I've ever seen in my life was her audition. And she was really good. Yeah. I got a question for you. How important is it for you to introduce new talent? Yes, Squad. Mm-hmm. It's very important. Like, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be in my position. Mm-hmm. Um, and not even just new talent, like bringing in Sinbad back. Mm-hmm. I wanted to remind people how much of a legend yes. you are. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like. It's like very, I'm in church. It's a very mm-hmm. fun thing to be in this position to like show all this, these new t- like even my writers room is gonna be a, my writers room is mostly black women. Come on now. So oh and, and it wasn't it wasn't women. like a thing I just did on purpose, but I just picked the funniest who I thought was the funniest right. that I interviewed. Um, it's just important just to introduce really like so many comedians out here. Yeah. Like on this show, you're gonna see 
I'm gonna get a lot of people opportunities. Oh, I'm even in pilot. You, I mean, seriously, I'm, right? <laughs> I'm serious. I don't. I'm really trying to do like Seinfeld. What I thought was yeah. fascinating about it, he mm-hmm. introduced so many he characters. Did. Yeah, he did. I just want to do something that's like Martin and Seinfeld in one match. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. And you're doing it. I mean, I have to ask, what's next? Really quickly. I mean, you got, you got a movie, you got the TV show, but you're what is after that? Uh, <laughs> I got another movie I did with Sandra Bullock called Bird Box. Come on, really? Really? Uh-huh. Uh, very excited about it. it's a sci-fi thriller, mm-hmm. and then. Uh, another movie I did with uh, Jillian Bell, who's hilarious. Uh, Brittany runs a marathon. Then I have another movie that I can't, on, I can't okay. tell you about right. that for real. Okay. All right. We got to go. Remember, right. Uncle Drew hits theaters nationwide on June 29th. Can we give it up for Lil Red? Yeah. Yeah. You are amazing. We appreciate you for joining us here on Sister Circle Live. Yes. Tomorrow, Cynthia Bailey is down mm-hmm. to, to the, the circle. circle. Have a great Tuesday. We love you, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> well,